ISA is a software that Colorlight designed and developed for users. It is both professional and user-friendly, with the following characteristics. Easily and rapidly set up mapping of complex and large LED screens. Quickly adjust screen parameters such as the screen's brightness and colors. Convenient to detect and diagnose the screens. After ISA has been installed, Double-click on the ISET icon to open ISET. After ISET has been opened, we can see the ISET has three pages, device information, design, and control. First, we're going to introduce the device information page. Click on the Detect Senders button. The viewing area for senders will show the sender's serial numbers, names, types, input video signal information, the amount of receiver cards that has been connected to each netboard, and the information of the sender's firmware version. Click Detect Receiver Cards. The viewing area for receiver cards will show which netboards on the senders that the receiver cards have been connected to, the receiver card serial numbers, types, temperature, network cable status, and working time. If the connection of the network cables is not stable and error packets occur, detect receiver card. The viewing area will show network cables failed. When network cables failed, the network cables need to be repaired, such as taking out and reconnecting the cables, replacing the cables with high quality ones, and so on. After the cables are repaired, we need to clear receiver card's error packet count to zero and set the receiver card to recount. Move the mouse to the position of the cable, right-click on it, reset the status of the network cables from the right-click menu. Next, we're going to explain the design page. There are three steps to directly add cabinets in ISET. Choose net ports, choose cabinet types, and add cabinets. The senders have several net ports. First, we choose sender net ports that need cabinets to be added. Choosing cabinet types falls into two categories. Choosing cabinet types that are known and choosing cabinet types that are unknown. If the corresponding product type already exists in type management, directly choose to add cabinets of that product type. If the corresponding product type does not exist in type management, custom adding cabinets according to the actual size of the cabinets. After choosing product type, hold the left mouse button on the view area and move the mouse to add certain amount of cabinets. Besides adding cabinets directly, we can also add cabinets through readback. If the mapping of the cabinets is already working well, we can click the Reback button to reback the cabinets. After adding certain amount of cabinets, if the array of the cabinets does not match with real situations, then the array needs to be set. Left-click to choose cabinet groups. At this time, the lower right corner of the cabinet group will have a small box showing up. Drag the small box using the mouse to set the array of the cabinets to match with real situations. Cable connections will be automatically created when adding cabinets on ISAT. But if the connections do not match with real situations, we need to reset connections either through auto-routing or manual routing. Choose the cabinets that need routing. Use the eight patterns that ISAT has preset to quickly set it up. Click on the menu routing button, put the mouse on the cabinet, and left click on it. Route the cabinets one by one. To cancel the routing of the routed cabinets, right click on the routed cabinets. ISAT will cancel the mapping between this cabinet and the following cabinets. We can also click on the clear mapping button on the toolbar to clear all the mapping at the current netport. 
Setting mapping has two auxiliary functions: real-time mapping and sorting. First, turn real-time mapping on. When the mapping has been changed in ISAT, we can see the results on the screen in real time. Open sorting. At this time, the cabinets will show the numbers according to the actual cable connections of the screen. When the mapping of the cabinets has been set, click Save Current Port to save the mapping of the cabinets. We can save the mapping of the screen controlled by one sender to receive a card, or save the mapping of the whole screen. After setting the mapping of the screen, besides saving to cabinets, we can also save as a project file. Click on the Save Project button, save the mapping of the screen as a project file. Similarly, we can click on the Save Project button to directly load the Save Project files into ISAT. After setting the mapping of the screen, we can print it out as installment drawings for steps on set. Click on the Print button on the toolbar of ISAT. Enter the Print Preview window. At this interface, we can print out the mapping of the cabinets connected with senders. Next, we're going to explain the control page. The control page is used for setting screen parameters of senders, which mainly are brightness, colors, task patterns, freeze screen, and blast screen. We can quickly set brightness of the senders by using the four preset buttons, or by using the slider. We can set the sender's brightness value. We can also set battery gray of the sender. We can turn battery gray on to optimize the gray scale of the screen under low brightness. We can adjust the colors of the LED screen by setting color temperature. Using the mouse to slide the slider to set up color temperature. The adjustable range of color temperature in ISAT is 2000 to 10000. Click on default. We can quickly set up the color temperature to 6500. If I'm clicking the advanced settings option in ISAT, we can also adjust the colors of the LED screen by setting the brightness of red, green, and blue. Click on a certain test pattern icon, the senders will show the corresponding effects. Through test patterns, we can view the display of the screen, detect, and diagnose the screen. We can also set freeze and black in ISAT. Click on freeze, the picture on the screen will be freezed. Click on black, the screen will become black and display nothing. At the design interface, click on the read only button on the upper right corner of ISAT to enter read only mode. Under read only mode, the mapping can be viewed but cannot be edited. At the control interface, click on the read only button on the upper right corner of ISAT to enter read only mode. Under read only mode, the settings of the senders can be viewed but cannot be edited. Read only mode is independent on different pages and do not affect with one another. That's everything for the beginner's tutorial. Thank you.